cleaning my camera off here real quick to make sure everyone can see okay. Okay, I wanted to start off first by telling all of my clients, um, I miss you dearly. Uh, this has been a complete nightmare, I would say. I don't know if it's a nightmare. I, I know it could be a lot worse, but um, I miss you all. I am looking forward to having you guys back in the shop when we are um, going to be safe. And in the meantime, I wanted to go on um, live Facebook and give you guys some pointers on how you guys can do some at-home manicures until we can get back into the nail salons. I have been doing my own nails for the last probably six months now um, due to the fact that I have had to recently cut down the hours in my salon because of some health issues that I have been struggling with the last six years. Um, a lot of you may already know this, but I have um, some arthritis going on in my hands. And at one point, um, I was told I had carpal tunnel. And I've been getting steroid shots in my hands for the last six years. So I recently talked to my hand surgeon and he proceeded to tell me that I really needed to cut back um, in the salon or else in about six years, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I'm, I love to do. So I recently cut back quite a few hours out of the salon. And anyways, I had to figure out how to budget my money. And one of the ways I figured I could um, budget some money or cut some of my extracurricular expenses out was to figure out how to do my own nails. And because I already do nails, I do nails for my clients, I figured it would be one of the easiest things to do to cut back. So I started doing them about six months ago and, and through uh, trials and testing different things, I figured out what works best. So first of all, I'm gonna show you um, the brand that I like the most. I get these either at Walgreens, Walmart, Target, wherever, dollar store. I use the Kiss brand. These are my favorite brand. Um, I, in the past, tried using these. Let's see, where are they? They are press-on ones. Where did I put those at? Oh, my gosh. If you guys know me, I put stuff down and never can find it. It's probably right in front of my face. Where did I put them? Well, anyways, I'll show you an example. They are light. I swear I had those sitting here for you guys they are they're the kind that come in the tabs they have these like like glue on tabs well i can tell you those don't work not for me anyways i i use my fingernails too much when i'm out like when i'm doing things um so the press on ones don't work for me because they fall off all the time so a very good friend of mine and i went out to um dinner one night for drinks and dinner and I had put these um, artificial nails on that I was trying out the ones with the tabs literally by the time we got done eating I had to borrow her nail glue probably five times because five of my nails broke off and I was like oh my gosh how embarrassing is that so I feel it's really important to have a really 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 good glue if you're going to do your own nails and um that's hard to come by unless you're a professional. But I have decided um, while my, my salon is closed and people can't get into the salons, I am going to retail a nail glue. It is OPI Mach 5. I've been using this nail glue since I started doing hair and doing artificial nails. Um, here in Panora, Iowa, I worked at Main Street Hair Design for a gal named Kim Vogel. And she's an amazing woman and I learned a lot from her. And um this was the nail glue that they used in their salon and this stuff is like literal liquid cement like you you it's like the best super glue you could ever get i promise you it's better than this stuff that you get in the kits this stuff does not work at all and i know that for a fact because i've tried it out so um i am going to retail this stuff 
um, in the salon. If you guys are interested in trying to do your own nails and seeing how it works, you can text me and um, I can order some of this stuff for you and it's going to retail for $10.50 plus tax. So let's get started. So I bought these uh, nails the other day at um, Walgreens. That's where I got them. I got them at Walgreens. So um, what I did was, first of all, I look at these nasty ass nails of mine. These are so disgusting. And this is what I do. If I don't have nails on, I bite. I'm a nail biter. I used to bite my nails when I was a little girl. My dad, my, my dad put pepper juice on them. He gave me this polish that tasted like crap. I just bit through it. I'm a nail biter. It's just part of my natural makeup of being severely ADHD. So anyways, okay, so in your kit, you get a bunch of nails. I'm gonna, a pile of nails. You also get these tabs which I don't use. I don't use the tabs. They do not work for me. They, I, they're just not strong enough. You get a cuticle pusher and you get a little um, nail file. So, and these come pre-colored. So they're already colored. Um, I also have in the past bought a set off of Amazon, which I absolutely love. I do these and then I paint my nails whatever color I want, but you have to be a good nail painter in order to do those. So I wouldn't suggest that if you're just starting out. So you're better off um, getting some that are pre-colored just to play around with until you get better at it. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can bend this down. I have a shitty camera. I want to see if I can get it to the point where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to prep your nails. So you want to wash and dry your nails off. Then you want to take the cuticle pusher, which I use a metal one because I just have one from for my profession or for my clients. And you just push your cuticles down. And then if you have any like extra cuticles, what you want to do is you want to clip your cuticles off. So I just go around and I trim up my cuticles like so just around your cuticles and then what you want to do is you want to take the file now I use my nail drill I have a nail drill because I do nails in my shop so you can buy one of those on um Amazon for pretty cheap too Oh, Shanna, my friend Shanna just commented, she likes the tabs. She she uses those tabs all the time, and they work pretty good, you know, for like a short-term thing if you want to go out real quick. But I tried it, and mine just kept falling off while I was, going to, while I was at dinner. <laughs> and it did not work well for you. So um, that's why I started using these kinds instead. So then what you want to do is you want to lightly take this, and you want to buff your nail bed and you don't want to buff it too hard because you'll put indentions in it and you'll ruin your natural nails for me my nails are completely ruined anyways because uh i'm sure you guys all watched tom doing my nails he didn't ruin them but they did it didn't help <laughs> it didn't help him so you need to go through and you want to and i've already did this for time wise so i went through and and lightly buffed all of my nails and you want to make sure that you get really good in the corners and around your cuticles really good because that's where the nails are going to um, come up first. So after that, then what I did is I picked through the pile and I figured out which ones fit my nails the best. So I have little midget fingers. Everybody laughs at them because they're little midget and my nail beds are so little, but these actually fit my nails. I did have to go and on a couple of them go see if I can figure out okay so I'm trying to do this on camera so you guys can see it right here this is where I think it's these um don't fit your nails the best so what I do is I take the fingernail file and I just file just lightly until they they fit perfectly on your nails okay so then you want to take some uh I would use I have professional stuff that I use but for you guys at home, you're just gonna, I put alcohol in this. You wanna take a little alcohol and you wanna prep your nails after you filed them lightly. You want to um, dehydrate them. What that's doing is it's taking the oils out so that the um, super glue and the nails will, will adhere 
to your nails properly. Now, I'll have to be honest, the last time I went to Belize with my husband, I wore these nails to um, Belize and they lasted two weeks, almost three weeks. Um, if I'm working and I have these on, they last probably two weeks, I would say. They, they actually last me a long time. And I take them off the same way that you get them taken off in the nail salon. I use uh, acetone polish remover, 100%. And then, oh, let me look. Let me see if it is 100%. Yes. Pure, pure acetone is what I soak my nails off in. Okay, so you take your Mach 5 glue. And this is just my way of doing it. So then you... Mach 5, you take your nail, you put a little teeny tiny dribble of nail glue onto the nail, artificial nail. Then what you want to do is I take just a little bit and I put it on my fingernail as well, just, just a little bit. You don't want to do too much because then you're just going to have a big hot mess. You're going to be gluing your fingers all together. And then what you do is I kind of, I go like this and then, uh, I don't know what degree that would be, but just angled up a little bit and then I go push it down because that makes it so you don't have air pockets. So, and you want to do this all the way to your nail cuticle. So I push it and I just hold it on for just a second. And then this has, a, you'll see a little bit of nail glue around. I just take a paper towel and I lightly dust it off. And I hold it down for a couple of seconds. Voila! Looky, looky! Just as, almost as good as being in the nail salon. Not really, because you're actually getting pampered this way. You have to do it yourself. Oh, and <laughs> so that one's a little crooked. You want to make sure when you're doing it, like if I wasn't trying to do it on camera, I would make sure that I did it straight up and down. So then... This one's going to be a little crooked, but who's going to see it? Not, not anybody for the next probably week. So I'm just going to go ahead and do these really quick um, and get them all done. And then I'm going to show you what I also do to make them look more professional. I, my friend, um, Ashley Conrad, uh, she is always telling me, girl, I can't believe you do your own nails. Are those those press-ons? She's always saying, are those those press-ons? Those look so good. I'm like, thanks. They only cost me $6.99. <laughs> so it saved me quite a bit of money. Um, and with me being out of work and not getting any unemployment or any sort of grants or nothing, I'm trying to budget my money as much as possible, as I'm sure a lot of you are out there as well. <laughs> And, okay, so I wanted to give a shout out to a couple of people um, that could possibly um, benefit from this as well. So my friend Julie Maddox, she sells Color Street Nails. So I've used hers before um, with artificial nails as well with, with this technique. Um, sometimes I, I just like to you know, do different things. So I, I bought some of these color streets that uh, Julie um, sells and I took the color streets and I put them on these. These are these ones that I got from Amazon are the full ones and they do not have any color on them. So you either have to paint them or you have to uh, use the color street. And then Anna Kastner also sells a product that um, is a nail polish gel and i think her kit comes with the light and the the um gel polish as well and i told both of the girls to put their information in the um bar down below so you guys could see where to order them if you decide you want to use their stuff instead of buying the the stuff that has the colors because i mean these are i'll be honest with you these they they have quite a few but if you like more of a natural look, I have a hard time finding really natural looking nails, but I'm not a natural like looking. I'm not a natural girl. I like bling bling. So these work out good for me. 
but this glue, Joelle, Jolene, I mean, Jolene, Jolene Kendall, I know. I was thinking about you girls, you and your mom, when I um, was thinking about doing this video because I know you guys are dying to get your nails done. And I swear, these things are awesome. Like the, the nail glue, this nail glue, I promise you, it is worth the investment. This is how I do $6 nails without popping a nail off every five minutes like I do with the other cheap stuff. It makes a huge difference. So if you want to try it out, oh, real quick. So I'm coming to my thumb. Now, my thumb is the weirdest, the weirdest nail I have, I think. It's the rest of my nails are really curved, like the the bottom shapes are really curved. And then you come to my nail and it's flat as hell. And I don't know why. I have no idea. I don't even understand it. But um, so what I have to do is I have to take the nail and like um, make it so it, the nail is shaped the way my natural nail is. So I take the took the file and I just kind of flatten the bottom out and then it just fits. It fits perfect. So, a little bit of nail glue. This stuff comes out really fast. You have to be really careful. I'm not kidding. And these are really thin, too. That's what I like about them. I think they look really natural. They're almost too thin. They're too thin for me because I'm hard on my nails and I work with my hands a lot. So I do a little something extra. And this is where Anna Kastner's stuff would really come in handy or Julie's stuff because it makes them thicker. It actually makes them thicker and more durable. So then what I do is I take some no cleanse uh shiny gel top coat and i put over top of them and that's the stuff that anna sells she can you can sell she can sell you that kit um and then i use my light i have a nail light that i cure my gel with and you would never know that i did not get these done professionally i don't think anyways and i'm I'm pretty good at telling if girls have fake nails on or if they're real or if they have fake whatever it is, lips, boobs, eyelashes. I, I can normally spot it out because I'm a professional and I can see what it looks like. But, ta-da! Don't look at my crooked one because I got screwed up talking to you guys, but I can fix it. Oh, and the other thing is you don't have to keep them this long. I like mine a little bit longer. I'm probably going to cut these down just a little bit. But uh, for the most part, I like them. I like the pointy look. So hopefully that helped. And if you guys decide you want to try to do your own natural nail or artificial nails, um, get a hold of me because I tell, I'm telling you this stuff works. It works like a miracle. I call it miracle glue. Tom used it even to fix our uh, air fryer. <laughs> our air fryer knob broke and he needed some really good super glue and this stuff works really good. Um, okay, so something else I want to talk to you about to let you know that I'm going to be doing as soon as I get my kit. I have signed up to be a pharmacy makeup rep. I am super excited about it. I love doing makeup and I have some time where I'm going to be doing some online tutorials. I've gotten some requests to do some online tutorials and I need to make some money because as you all know, I'm broke. <laughs> Tom's not broke, but I'm broke. <laughs> My shopping money has disappeared. <laughs> so I um, am trying to figure out what I can do to make a little extra money on my downtime. Yeah, I was selling a few egg rolls out my back door, which really was like maybe five or 10 people and they spent five or $10, but yeah, someone turned me in to the state of Iowa and I got a state of Iowa deceased letter to say to stop uh, selling food 
which I think is the most ridiculous thing in the world. I mean, I get that like on a normal day basis, but at least I'm not selling drugs out my back door. You know what I think would have been really cool is if, if the cops and the government or the police would be as quick to give drug dealers a cease and desist order like they do somebody selling freaking egg rolls off their back porch. Completely crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just had to go off on a rant, sorry. <laughs> but if anybody is interested in trying to make about um, pharmacy makeup, the reason why I signed up is it's really reasonably priced. I'm a makeup junkie. I try every kind of makeup there is. And um, my friend Buffy is selling it and she had me do, gave me a little sample of some foundation. And I'm kind of picky on my foundation. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll try it out. It's probably cheap crap, but no, it wasn't. It actually worked really well and it lasted all day. And it's really, really reasonable. I think a I think it might be like $20 maybe for a bottle of foundation and the mascara is really good and it's $12. So as soon as my shop opens, I'll have some retail here in the shop, but you can go onto my webpage and order it from there and tune in and I can show you guys how to do some makeup. Thanks for tuning in tonight, and hopefully I get better at doing these tutorials. I just have to keep trying them out because I'm, I'm trying to figure out a new way of retelling, and um, I say um a lot, and I'm trying hard not to do that. So hopefully these get better. Thanks for watching. Take care, and God bless.